My name is Jade Reese, and I live in Mooresville, North Carolina. It could be the end of the world as you know it, and as we know it. <laughs> The surveillance video captured the armed robbers running out of the home. Yeah, if somebody's coming into my house, then, you know, I have this and I have no qualms using it. Um, I can sit out here every day and watch the sunset. And if you're working, a job that you hate and you're not fulfilled in that and you're not making very much money, your life's pretty much going to suck. <laughs>so I really started thinking more about prepping on a serious level last year there was just starting to be some rumblings about the virus over uh, you know in China and wow if that gets here then it's gonna get crazy I would not intentionally want to hurt someone but if they're coming in then absolutely I am a marksman I was in the military I have to be mindful that if I used to have a 357 and the bullets were so much. If I did miss someone, it could actually go through the wall and kill my neighbor, so I switched to a shotgun for home defense. If you look in here, every can I have has a date on the, fr on the top and the side. I do that with absolutely everything, all of my cans. Keeping food long-term, especially like if you've been through a storm or a hurricane, I mean, it's critical that you have your food and it can last for multiple weeks. But I actually have a, a bug out bag for Max. We've got a blanket for him. I've got um, his bowl here. Um, I have a, some toys for him. It makes me feel uh, secure to know that I have food in the pantry and that I have, that I'll have clean drinking water. And, you know, it really comes down to peace of mind. Prepper Hangout is where you can come to learn about prepping for any shit hits the fan situation. It's basically common sense prepping for the everyday person. It's shit your grandma on you. I decided to create Prepper Hangout, which is a place where people can literally hang out and talk about prepping. They can ask their questions. Kindness is the number one uh, rule that I have in Prepper Hangout. We all are, are on the same mission to be prepared, whether it's job loss, whether it's being in quarantine or a storm like happened in Louisiana. I want everybody to be able to come and be prepared for whatever scenario that they're prepping for. Hi there. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Jade Reese and I'm the founder of Prepper Hangout. Here's my prepping on a budget. Most people find out about Prepper Hangout through Facebook ads. The ad runs to this page. I really want to get a feel for what people are looking for, what their skill level is. You need to be over 18. Um, I'm just trying to get an idea of, are you prepared to protect your home and family? I've got about 10 questions on here. Once they fill out the application, then they'll come to this order form where they're invited to buy a decal. I have, uh, it's a sticker. People put them on their mugs. <laughs> you can see I've got them all over the place. There's my logo. Uh, this was the first one. I've got a couple of different ones. I have a decal of the month club. People can join that and for a monthly subscription and then every month I send them three custom decals. Uh, this is one. This is kind of a fun one. What I am fulfilling myself right now is I have decals. I also have shirts. These are pretty much the same as what I've got for decals. I also have hoodies. I've got mugs. What do people buy the most? What's like the top three items people buy? This is uh, one of the top decals. People love this one. Uh, look at that. I just hit over 12,000 in my uh, gross sales for the life of this funnel. So, um, so I started my first ad on this funnel. Like I said, I, I ran my first ad as a giveaway uh, last December, but Moving into this beta tester program and uh, decals and t-shirts, um, I just started that in June. So uh, so that's pretty exciting to have hit 12,000 in revenue. That's more than I've done uh, in the five years that I've been <laughs> trying online uh, business stuff. 
Congratulations. Thank you. That, that feels really good, actually. My entire life, really, had been about uh, hiding who I am and, you know, being raised very uh, conservative, uh, Christian Southern Baptist, um, you know, I never felt like I could really be who I am as a person. So after I joined the military, um, I was about three years in, and I had a knock on my door one day, and uh, this guy came up and he said, we need to take your badge and your gun. You've been put under investigation for uh, conduct unbecoming is what they called it. And I was like, what the crap? So they took that, and the reason for that is because they suspected that I was gay. The last eight months of my career, they I got isolated out on the flight line because, I don't know, I guess they thought if you were around other people, they would, I don't know what they thought, if they thought people would become gay or whatever. I don't know, also I felt ashamed um, because, I mean, they made me feel like I did something bad and wrong, and I didn't. Like I said, I was a, I was the model soldier of, you know, doing everything the way it should be. We are training kids. You send your kid to school, they learn all of this stuff, then you teach them, let's go to college and get a degree and come out with these $100,000 student loans that you can't pay for. To me, that is the most backward S9 model that anybody could ever go into in any way, shape, or form, because you're building businesses for other people while they're out, you know, moving to Puerto Rico or on their yacht or something, you're working 80 hours a week, not being able to spend time with your family or your friends or, you know, it's a sunny day, look, the sun popped out. So look, Brent, we can quit, it's 9.30 in the morning. I can go enjoy this beautiful fall day all day long and I'm still making money. To me, an entrepreneur looks at themselves every day and says, how can I make it better? And in making themselves better, they're also making their business better. Um, I think being an entrepreneur is probably one of the best personal development uh, programs you'll ever be in because, man, I gotta tell you, it's not easy. And I think it, it takes a certain personality that doesn't just throw in the towel. Because, I mean, <laughs> the reality is, if it was easy, everybody would do it. So where we're going now is um, my friend Julie Bugen uh, does the fulfillment for my decals. So <laughs> look, our destination is on the right. Hey, hey. hey. <laughs> Good morning, how are you? Good. I love how you got the baskets set up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's easy to, uh, like I get the night crew in to just pre-fill uh, envelopes and then in the morning it's just uh, printing out and then I can grab ones, threes, and tens just right out of the basket. So this is all uh, customers who have joined our beta tester program so they'll get this. A lot of them too will also get a t-shirt. So what's the most number of uh, that you've done in a day between um, uh, between all of us? So far the biggest day has been 200 but it's working its way up. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. It's really democratized things. I mean, this is what I tell the kids. There's never been a better time to start a business online. And, you know, my son is in college. He's taking a business degree in college, but I feel like his, his future probably lies in doing some sort of online business. You know, what I will say for people before you jump ship is put some, put some money aside. Make you know, a plan. Make, make money that you can live on for a while because your new business isn't gonna pay the bills right away. It doesn't no. matter what people tell you, your first week, your first month, your first 100 days, whatever, you're not gonna be able to pay your rent from no. that. Here's the thing, what you think you're going to do, like, like Julie's saying, of all of the things that we have dreamed up in my apartment, this was not one yeah. of them. And this certainly wasn't one of them when I got my master's degree in political science. <laughs> so. No, it was not. So. So three nuns walk into a bar. You'd think one of them would have seen it. <laughs> See, it's funny. <laughs> All right, so I got a couple of returns. Those are returns? Yeah. Yep. Usually there's a return if somebody's address is incorrect. 
or for whatever reason it's not deliverable, then we get it back and we'll try to check with the customer, see if we can figure out if it was their address. Sometimes people just put bad addresses in. What's the next steps of scaling the proper hangout? Uh, the next step for scaling with Prepper Hangout is to get my ad spend to $1,500 a day and continue to test out different decals on the front end to see what people like the best. And then I basically pick the one that's converting the best and I put more ad spend toward that. And I'll just continue to, to do that and scale as long as the, uh, the ads and, the, and that offer's working. Seriously, it gets to the point over the years where it's like, oh, what's Jade doing now? You know, because this thing didn't work, and then I go to the next one, and then this one doesn't work, so I go to the next one, and every time I start a new one, I'm like, this is it. We're going to be rich. Let's just, Maxie, get ready for some big bones, buddy. We're going to be rich. This is work. This is not a somebody's going to drop in, in your lap. This is a lot of work. This is kind of a typical uh, email that I would get from a customer. She said, hey, I bought these several days ago. Kind of what's going on here? So she's thinking something fishy's going on. It turns out, you know, she ordered once on the fifth and once on the sixth. You know, usually it's a pretty simple fix for something like that. Um, I looked and she had basically fat fingered her email. The fingers you have used to dial are too fat. You know, on the opposite spectrum of that, and <laughs> and I get, uh, unfortunately, I get as many of the, probably, uh, I get way too many of, of these, so. Uh, Bad emails. Yeah, they're, they're bad emails. <laughs> Why the sudden concerns? Sales slow? I can research and get answers on my own, but if it regards prepper products, sometimes you have to go to the well. No company pushing the sale of stun guns could answer my question of how to test it upon receipt to see if it works as advertised. Well, I ended up testing it on myself after preparing a number of lawsuits regarding this product. Bad heart and all. Well, it did not drop me like a stone as advertised. It only gave me two burn marks and some black and blue bruise marks. I did it three times on different parts of my body to make sure I had a real sample testing. Anyway, I gave all five I purchased away to some women friends to zap and run like hell if approached and attacked, trying to use the bogus stun guns. Oh, I discarded the lawsuits, but I'm not endorsing this product to anyone worldwide, regardless of my potential reach to millions. Have a nice day, and don't believe all the advertised BS. I had to ask the question, you seriously used a stun gun on yourself five times? Good luck and congratulations on your Darwin Award. That still makes me laugh. I can't believe he used a stun gun on himself five times and is mad at me. I mean, he's mad at me because he stunned himself. I, I was still somewhat trading time for money, so my ultimate goal is to have systems in place where I really only have to tweak those and optimize and just keep traffic going to them. Um, success for me is being able to, you know, take the day off and go and hike or kayak or whatever and know that I'm still making money. So that's, that's really the big reason why I do this type of business instead of a nine to five. So you're making enough money right now to not have another job? Yeah, this is my full-time job. Yeah, this, this is what I do. Well, I worked corporate for 15 years mm -hmm. and I got laid off in a, on a phone call. So I, I got laid off just on a recorded message. I was like, well, holy cow, I've spent all of these years and sacrificed time with family and friends and everything else and hey your job's been outsourced not even a thank you you know just your job's been outsourced I think the only difference sometimes between the people who can sit and watch the sunset every day and still be making money and those who don't is just because they quit too early. Money can't buy happiness, but broke can't buy anything. So, wow, this is unexpected. <sighs> Sorry, didn't expect this. <laughs> um, so we were in foster care a good part of my life, and 
in this house you are expected to fail. So this is my ClickFunnels account at the end of 2020. <laughs> so as you can see, um, I lived up to expectations. When I got in Trey's program, he made it achievable, which was just put $10 a day. I'm like, okay, that means I don't have, you know, I've spent more than that going out to eat or something. So making something achievable, but then once I did 10 and then 15, and I was like, ooh. <laughs> All right. Miss Jade. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. There we go. <laughs> I had 20K this month. Uh, that's a combination of affiliate. My goal was 20K for the month. And so I did that in 27 days. So, Damn. Uh, so your first $20,000 month ever, ever. ever. It, it, you've come so far in such a, in such a small time. Like, you know, like it's, it's and you've, you've, uh, you've implemented everything that you've been taught to a T and you got the results from it. Yeah. I told you about a couple months ago, right before your Commerce King, my method is, people ask me, how'd you see it? I call it my monkey see, monkey do method. <laughs> That's, That's right. It. So what do you think? It's pretty crazy, right? I mean, if you're ready to go and build your online business right now, all you need to go to is talktotrey.com where we'll show you how to build a website, find an audience, choose a product, so you can start selling those products worldwide. Learn how to build a sustainable online business today, and we're gonna show you how to do it, just like we've shown our students how to do it. All you have to do right now is go to talktotrey.com, and we'll see you on the other side.